Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I'm going to give our glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. I'm going to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to Yahweh, pushing his word in sincerity and in truth. Back with another lesson. Today's is going to be a lesson based on a, <coughs> a, a, a request from uh, someone in the comment section, you know. And the name of the person is 144, the soul nine. All right. <clears throat> it says, Shalom, Juan, my brother, long time follower here. I need help. My oldest brother died last November at 37 due to alcohol in his past. And this past Monday, my older brother died at 36. He took his own life. Both of my brothers have died in the last 10 months. I tried to show them the truth. They did not adhere. I first woke up in 2016 when I stopped drinking and haven't looked back since. I never made a video request, but if you could put something together, a few scriptures to provide support during this time, it would be truly appreciated. I cannot wait to escape this hell. Love my brother. So the brother asked, you know, seems sincere. So as that's exactly what I'm going I'm going to do. Uh because we are all going to be faced with trials and tribulations, especially coming into this truth. And I remember when I came into this truth, uh my uh mother had passed, you know, <clears throat> and my girl had uh basically had a, a stillborn, you know, we experienced a stillborn uh when I came into this truth. So I was faced with like a lot of death and that sometimes happens. And sometimes it happens just to test your faith because the Lord uh, will uh, test you. We'll put you through trials. We'll put you through tribulation. The seed, when it's not going so good, when it's not so sweet, uh, will you remain? So we're going to jump into it. I'm going to grab Isaiah 57 and one. It says the righteous perish. And no man layeth if the heart and the merciful man are taken away, none considering that the righteous is taken away from the evil to come. He shall enter into peace. They shall rest in their beds, each each one walking in his uprightness. So it's not just the righteous that go into peace when they perish. You know, you always have the saying in the world that, uh, you know, they're in a better place. And that's actually true. Right through the scriptures, I'm going to show you. I'm going to the book of Job, which shows what happened when someone passes, you know. Uh, so we're going to go right into it. We're going to go into the book of Job, chapter 3. And uh, actually, I'm starting at 11. It says, Why died I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out of the belly? Why did the knees prevent me or why the breast that I should, su should suck? For now, should I have lain still and been quiet, I should have slept. Then had I been at rest with kings and counselors of the earth, which built desolate places for themselves, or the princes that had gold who filled their houses with silver. Or as in hidden untimely birth, I had not been as infants which never saw light. The wicked cease from troubling, right? And there the weary be at rest. There the prisoners rest together. They hear not the voice of the oppressor. The small and great are there. And the servants is free from his master. Wherefore is light given to him that is in misery and life until... Uh, the bitter soul, right? So when you pass, uh, you go to rest, man. You understand the truth. You're in your right mind again, and you're out of that hell. Because in his uh, in his uh, post or comment, he talked his brother talked about his brothers being alcoholics, and he even talked about his brothers one of his uh, brothers deleting himself. So he's finally at rest, <clears throat> right? After uh, after passing. The spirit goes back to whom gave it, which is the most high, and they're at, and they're at rest. So that's something to think about. Uh, you know, if you're on the so-called so sad side, but understand if there was they wasn't in this truth, they're better off in the spirit world because the Lord is going to hand out some heavy, heavy judgments. You know, some heavy, heavy judgments. 
So, uh, not being in this truth, when the judgment comes, it's going to be better to be in the spirit world, to be honest. Uh, from there, I'm going to grab uh, Ecclesiastes 2 and 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Set thy heart aright and constantly endure. And make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. So the point is, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare for temptations, all type of tests. Family members might be dropping dead. Money problems, you know, problems with your uh, uh, your woman, children, whatever, man. You're going to go through the ringer. And if you're still in the spirit and the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is dealing with you, he's going to bring you out on the other side that much stronger. Because it's not going to be a cakewalk to hold this faith in a world of wickedness, you know? So, trial by fire is really what these scriptures are about, man. You know? Talk about the elect and the ones that's going to be brought to the fire to be hardened, to come out on the other side. Uh, you know, as fine gold as the scriptures talk about. You know, you gotta uh, always remember that when you're catching all type of trials and tribulation. Uh, from there, let's go to James 5 and 11. It says, Behold, we count them happy which endure. Ye have heard the patience of Job and have seen the end of the Lord, that the Lord is very pitiful and of tender mercy right so you gotta have patience Job endured a lot of hardship man you know he lost a lot of things but at, at the same time guess what he didn't uh, uh, curse the heavenly father like that man he didn't get angry he didn't get upset like that he realized that hey shall we receive good from the most high and shall we not receive evil so there's a balance uh, in this truth, the Lord's never going to give you more than what you can handle, and uh, you have to remember that you know, whatever you're going through. So, to the brother that put that comment on the comment board, uh, you know, I know you may be sorrowful, you're going through some shit, but realize that uh, you how about you, man? shy, uh, is with you, man. All right, he is truly with you, and uh, as you deal with whatever you're dealing with with your brothers, realize when you come out on the other side. You're going to be that much more stronger. It's something that you have to uh, uh, always put in your spirit. and something that you got to always realize, you know. So from uh, from there, we're going to end it off in the book of uh, 1 Peter 4 and 12. It says, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you. You see that? As though some strange thing happened unto you, right? We all being tried, man. Especially if you believe in your how about your man shy. It's a test of your faith. You know? It is a test of your faith. Because the glory, the honor, salvation, and all the great things that's going to uh, be bestowed upon the believers in these end days, uh, you're going to be glad to receive that. But you got to understand, you got to walk that narrow path to get there. You got to go through hell to get that heaven. You see? It says, but rejoice in so much as ye are partakers of the Lord's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. Right. So that's why I just basically broke down. You know, <clears throat> you can't have one without the other. All these great things that are promised to the nation of Israel, meaning the elect first. Uh, you're going to have to go through hell to get it, man. A hundred percent. Absolutely. You're going to have to go through hell to get it. So, uh. Don't always uh, a, a feel down or get bad or get sad. <clears throat> no, it's it's par for the course, man. The, the scriptures talk about uh, carrying our cross daily and going through situations, you know, that's put in front of us because that's what's required uh, for us uh, to make it, man. That's what's required for us to, to come out on the other side is to endure hardships man you know this truth is not for the weak you know when I lost uh, my mother 
you know, uh, you know, the, the child coming out stillborn, you know, it was tough. But I understand at the end of the day uh, that one, if they're not in this truth, that it's better that they're, they're not here uh, anyway. And two, <clears throat> the Lord is preparing me and harden, hardening me for the times to come. Because we, we're, we're going to see uh, hell unleashed here on the earth. And that's something that you gotta, you're going to have to wrap your mind around. All right? But that's the point. I want to give all glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And uh, shalom on the next time.